Good day everyone. Today I will discuss the difference between geometric sequence and arithmetic sequence. So let's try to find the difference between arithmetic and geometric sequence. So first, let's go to geometric sequence. As defined, it is a sequence in which each term after the first term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant. This non-zero constant is referred to as the common ratio. The common ratio can be obtained by dividing any term by the preceding term. In getting the nth term, we use the formula a sub n is equals to a sub 1 times r raised to the power n minus 1, where a should not be equal to 0 and r should not be equal to 0. Let us have an example. Say we have the sequence 2, 4, 8, and 16. So in order to know if this is a geometric sequence, we have to check if it has a common ratio by dividing any term by its preceding term. So here we see that the common ratio is 2. And so this sequence is geometric. So let's move to arithmetic sequence. So an arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which any term is obtained by adding a constant to the preceding term. That constant is referred to as the common difference. The common difference can be obtained by subtracting any term by the preceding term. So the formula in getting the nth term is given to us by a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, where d is the common difference. Let's have an example. Say you have the sequence 2, 4, 6, and 8. In order to identify if the sequence is arithmetic, we have to check if it has a common difference by subtracting any term from the preceding term. So 8 minus 6 is equals to 2, 6 minus 4 is equals to 2, 4 minus 2 is equals to 2. So now we know that this 2 is our common difference. Because we have the common difference, we can say that the sequence above is an arithmetic sequence. Let's try example number one. Find a 30 or the 30th term in the sequence negative 4, negative 1, 2, and 5. So in order to know if it is an arithmetic sequence, you have to find its common difference by subtracting any term to its preceding term. So here we see that 3 is the common difference. And because it has a common difference, then this sequence is arithmetic sequence. And so we use the formula for arithmetic, which is a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, where d is the common difference. So now we know that our d is 3, and our a n is a 30, so our n should be 30. So let's use the formula, which is a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So a sub n is a sub 30, and a sub 1 is the first term. So substitute it to the formula. So negative 4 plus 29 times 3. So 29 times 3 is 87. And so copy negative 4 plus 87. So negative 4 plus 87 is 83. So the 30th term of the sequence is 83. Let's try example number 2. So for example number 2, we have the sequence 0 0.04, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and so on. And let's find the 7th term or a7 
So the first thing that we have to do is to identify if this is a geometric or arithmetic sequence. So let's try for arithmetic. So arithmetic sequence, we have to subtract any term from its preceding term. So 1 minus 0 0.2 is equals to 0 0.8. 0 0.2 minus 0 0.04 is equals to 0 0.16. So you can see that this is not a common difference. So let's try finding the common ratio. So let's try dividing any term by its preceding term. So 1 divide by 0 0.2 is equals to 0 0.5. So 0 0.2 divide 0 0.04 is equals to 0 0.5. So we can see that this is the common ratio. And because we have the common ratio, then this sequence is geometric sequence. So let's use the formula for getting the nth term of geometric sequence. So the formula of getting the nth term of the geometric sequence is given as a sub n is equals to a sub 1 times r raised to the power of n minus 1. And we know that rn is 7, our r is 0 0.5, and our a sub 1 is 0 0.04. So we are looking for the a sub 7. So let's substitute. a sub 7 is equal to a sub 1 is 0 0.04. r is 0 0.5 raised to the power of n is 7 minus 1. So 0 0.04 times 0 0.5 raised to the power of 6. 0 0.04 times 0 0.015625 and we get the product of 0 0.000625. So this is our A sub 7 or the 7th term. <laughs> Example number three. The twenty fifth term of a sequence is thirty eight and has a common difference of two. What is the tenth term of the sequence? So because of the clue, which is common difference, we know that this sequence is arithmetic. So let's write the given. A25 is 38. Our D, or common difference, is 2. And we are looking for A sub 10, or the 10th term. So in order to get the 10th term, we have to find the A sub 1 first. So in order to find the A sub 1, we use the formula a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So a sub 25 which is in our given and a sub 1 plus n is 25 minus 1 times d is 2. So a 25 is 38 copy a sub 1 plus 25 minus 1 is 24 times 2 is 48. Then we subtract both sides by 2. So we have to subtract 48 on both sides. 2 cancel the 48. So what's left is a sub 1 is equal to 38 minus 48 is negative 10. So our a sub 1 is negative 10. Now that we have our a sub 1, we can find the value of our a sub 10 or the 10th term. We know that our a sub 1 here is negative 10. So in order to find the 10th term, we have to use the formula again. So a sub 10 is equals to a sub 1 is negative 10 plus 
our n is 10 minus 1 times 2. So negative 10 plus 10 minus 1 is 9 times 2 is 18. So negative 10 plus 18 is positive 8. So our a sub 10 or the 10th term is 8.